Hey guys, hope you're well and welcome to this commission completion video. In front of you, you can see a small tower force that we've been working on for one of our clients. It's been completed by Simon, one of the artists here at Siege. Some really cool models in this force. You've got a crisis team of three crisis suits, a uh, crisis commander, a uh, tower ethereal, ghost keel, and then a fire warrior team uh, with a support system as well. Uh, so really nice dynamic, dynamic force. Lots of really cool models in this uh, small army. Uh, let's pull forward a couple so you can have a look at. We'll start the uh, crisis team. Uh, so just get that to focus you guys. So right away you can see uh, there's no expense has been spared on this commission. There's loads and loads and loads of detail that's all been picked out. Uh, individual lenses as you can see there back on the support system here at the back and also on the visor at the front. Individual little tower markings for different members of the squad which is quite cool. All the uh, edge highlighting as you can see they're nice crisp edge highlighting on all the black and also on all the cream and uh, it's also got obviously a lot of battle damage as you can see there. Very similar to the scheme on the GW website. Uh, so as you can see there the client requested is very similar to that. And uh, that's what we've uh, achieved with these uh, this color scheme on this commission. Um, so that's just one of the crisis teams. You can see they've got a shield generator and a plasma rifle on this uh, on this one, and also a missile launcher. Uh, really good in game now in eighth edition as well. Very very flexible. Uh, so you'll be seeing a lot more of these, I, I expect. Uh, and right, let's move on to some other ones. Just put forward a couple of the drones that go with that um, with that uh, suit, as you can see here. So even all the little lenses on these individual uh, drones, on every single one through the force, the ones on the side, as you can see there, the front, and also the the, uh, the other side, all the lenses is individually picked out as you can see there same attention to detail loads and loads of detail work all picked out all this sort of edging and also all the battle damage even on one of the little drones as well and uh, just to touch on basing really quickly as well really nice uh, sort of basing color scheme brown goes really nicely with the creamy white of the, uh, the actual armor as well and in keeping with the battle damage as you can see there so that's just one of the drones um pull forward another one of the um Crisis team, as you can see here, this is the leader of the squad. Uh, again, all the lenses all picked out. Even on the scanner here at the top, you've got all those individual lenses all picked out. The side of the missile launcher has also got the same uh, gem or lens of theirs you can picked out. And again, really, really nice dynamic pose where it looks like he's charging forward or leaping forward as well in a commanding fashion, as you'd expect from the squad leader. Uh, again, loving the new Crisis kit. It's just uh, very, very, very sort of flexible on what you can do with it pose-wise. And again, just to really sort of sum this model up, you can see all the crisp edge highlighting that's been done and also all the battle damage throughout. Out. Uh, so that's just another one of the crisis team. Uh, I'll pull forward the one of the HQs, so just the commander. Again, loads and loads of detail. I love the new commander model, very, very poseable. Uh, add a little bit extra detail on the base there for the client as well. And you can see, same thing, lots of gems and lenses and scanner parts all picked out on the top of the uh, torso sort of armoured section here. Also the, the gems and lenses here in the side, in the inside of the scanner here on the back. Uh, move them around, just move them around so you can see the back of it. All the lenses there on the back, so you can see behind him all picked out as well. Uh, same consistent crisp edge highlighting throughout on all the black work and also all the chipping done um, on all the areas of the armour and a nice contrasting red head, uh, which is obviously you can see the red is the accent colour for this force. Uh, some nice sort of free handed towel symbol there as well on the head. Uh, so that's the commander. Really, really cool model. Do like the new commander ever so much. Um, and then pull forwards uh, the ethereal just so you can have a look at him. Get that to focus for you guys. And again, really nice commanding pose. It comes in the uh, start collecting box. You can see the nice contrasting red sort of tabard or cape as well, as you can see there. And the same sort of chipping and weathering effect there done on all of his armor as well. Uh, even the individual little bone work there, picked out on little beads and things that he's got there. Some nice free-handed tower symbols there on his uh, tabard as well. And uh, all the facial details, multiple highlighted throughout. And this cool little hovering uh, drone disc thing that he's got here as well. Little lens there on the front picked out, as you can see. And uh, all the little areas of detail, chipping and scratching, all done on there as well. Uh, a little bit cleaner than the rest, because uh, obviously it's just more of a sort of uh, support system for him. Uh, so that's the ethereal. Put that back. Um, I'm going to pull forward a couple of the fire warriors, just so you can have a look at these. Uh, get that to focus. Uh, so obviously a squad leader. Nice contrasting red accent to show that sort of uh, HQ kind of uh, feel within this, this model. And again, all the individual little screens, gems, buttons, lenses, all picked out. Multiple highlighted, as you'd expect. And, uh, and then obviously the same contrast in highlighting there on all the red armor, black sort of trousers, and the same chipping and attention to detail on all those areas. So that's just one of the uh, fire warriors. Pull forward the guy with a pistol, because I, I think it's quite cool. Uh, again, get that out of focus for you guys. And uh, again, same consistency and same attention to detail throughout on every figure in this force with all the chipping, weathering, scratching, gems, lenses, everything you'd expect from us here at Siege. Uh, again, so that's just another one of the fire warriors. I'll pull forward a couple more so you can have a look. 
really always like this kit. It's obviously lasted the test of time as well. Uh, quite an old kit, but it's still very, very current, and uh, the poses you can get are very in keeping with the towel sort of ethos and backgrounds. It's really sort of a stern and uh, sort of defensive in nature, as you'd expect, uh, which is really, really cool. Again, as you can see, even whether on rifle cases as well, and rifle carbines there, as you can see, all the individual little lenses and screens all picked out. Uh, it's just another one. And uh, we'll pull forward uh, the big, big sort of mod win, obviously, the force, which is obviously the ghost keel. Uh, and get that to focus for you guys so you can have a look at him. Again, same contrast in red uh, on that model, just on the head there, just to distinguish that part of the model. And again, the same attention to detail throughout on this uh, ghost keel. All the areas are chipping and scratching throughout on all the armor panels. Multiple sort of edge highlighting just on different areas on the black, just to really pick out the right corners and the brightest points. Uh, and then moving around, you've got a nice sort of glow there, as you can see on the um, on plasma weapon as well. Uh, now this model is actually magnetized, just to show you. Uh, very, very simple, you can obviously just switch out the weapons as well here. So we've got the other weapon, which just literally just magnetizes on there, as you can see. So we'll just change that back and put the plasma back on, uh, or the fusion, should I say. And, uh, and there we go, so that's just the ghost kill. Um, pull forward a few other little drones, just so you can have a look at them, because there's quite a few interesting little drones as well in this force. Uh, so as you can see here, again, one of the drones that comes with the ghost kill, big lens at the front there, all picked out, point of light source, same chipping and attention to detail throughout on all the armoured areas of that drone, and again, every lens all picked out to show the multiple sort of areas of view that that drone has got, which is quite cool. Uh, just a little, little different, that drone, which is really, really nice. Um, and there's one specific drone, which is just, I believe, very different from the rest of them in this army, so we'll just pull that forward so you can have a look at that. Again, just wanted to show that one off, just it's a little bit different. And again, as you can see there, all the lenses all picked out on that. Same chipping, same detail work done throughout on all the uh, drones. So right from the drones all the way through to the sort of HQs and characters, you've got a very, very high standard of finish uh, on this Tau Force. Put that drone back. And uh, again, as you can see, guys, really, really nice Tau Force. Hope you like it. And if you have any questions or anything, feel free to put some comments below. If you collect Tau, I hope you like this uh, video. It's been a real, really, really nice project to work on, Simon. I had a great time working on it. Um, if you have any questions or anything at all, as I said, please uh, drop some comments below. If you collect Tau, let us know what you think of, of this force and obviously if you collect out what are your favorite units um, as always guys all our contact details can be found in the description below we've just had a new website go up as well so please do go check that out so we had to spend a lot of time just updating that um, and now you can actually if you take a commission out with us you can follow your commission within the studio whether you've got uh, you know a different forms of social media or you can just go straight onto our website we've got a live feed from our instagram where all our work in progress photos are sort of posted so wherever you are whenever you are you can jump on our website and check up on your project if you haven't got instagram or if you haven't got facebook or twitter or whatever uh, but yeah so do go check out our new website we, uh, we obviously work with Element Games. The link to Element Games can also be found in the description as well, guys. And uh, if you follow the link that is in that description, we've got a referral code, which is SIE193. If you fill that in on the referral section of any order you make, you get double crystals. So do go check that out if you do shop with Element, or if you don't, go check them out. Uh, a great uh, online store and a great gaming centre uh, in the north as well. So uh, you should check those guys out. Uh, thanks for watching the video, guys. Really appreciate it. I hope you like this Tower Force. We've had a great time working on it. And if you're interested in the commission, get in touch through the contact tab on our website. As always, please like, please comment, and please subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.